Ever wondered how to win a culture victory in under 200 turns on Deity? What's the best strategy? How these numbers work? Well, then this is the video for you, the ultimate guide to culture, showing you how the culture victory works and the best strategy to win in under 200 turns. I'll be playing as Ludwig the Mad. Is it because he's needed for this strategy? No. I just think Ludwig has a cool ability, getting culture and tourism from wonders even if they're not complete. This is going to be fun. Whoa, what a chopful start perfect for what I want to do. The strategy I'm going for revolves around three key wonders, the Oracle, Apadana and the Great Library. Oracle to generate great writers, artists and musicians, Apadana and Great Library to hold their works. Now the question is where to settle. The best spot is on the cattle next to the river. We get fresh water, extra food and can work these amazing banana tiles. But we won't work them immediately, first we'll work the pearls to get an early pantheon. Later on we'll make up the difference by skipping God King and going straight into urban planning. Production, free scout to find everyone as quickly as possible, to start generating tourism on them, technology bronze working to chop down forests and jungles, then castles to unlock Ludwig's special ability to convert culture adjacency to tourism. With our warrior we just scout around the capital to find places to settle. Oh Jerusalem, are we the first ones to meet them? Yes, excellent, now we're making two fate a turn, most likely we'll get the free settler pantheon. Continue scouting, a goodie hut, another city state, Auckland gives us production, barbarians, they can be quite a problem, deal with them as soon soon as possible. Normally one warrior is enough to clear a barb camp. The one thing you must stop is the barbarian scout scouting your city and reporting back to its camp. Pantheon, religious settlements is not taken. Mine, and I'm gonna settle on the maze. Now that we have a pantheon, we no longer have to work this terrible pearl tile. Time to maximize production and food. Keen eyed of you might have noticed that these tiles have science on them and are wondering why doesn't he explore the natural wonder there? Well, I'm not doing it because I'm saving the points for later. I don't think I can get a golden age in the classical era, so I'm saving the points for the medieval era. A third city state boosting political philosophy and giving us additional science. Second scout, go west. Oh, Abraham Lincoln I is his name and with his pen he wrote the same. Bird scout done, monument for more culture, second city up, builder first, animal husbandry reveals horses, horses are a great tile to work, builder to start chopping wonders, oracle research, chop the rainforest and start building it. We met the Inca and the Spartans, now that we met them, time for the second part of the strategy, you want to amass as much gold as possible, best way to do it in the early game is to trade luxuries, strategic resources and diplo favor to the AI. Another benefit from trading with the AI is they'll start to like you, allowing you to get friendships and open borders. Get them with as many of them as you can, they're really good. Third thing we want to do is get as many cities as possible, around 12. Also avoid war, you do not want to be wasting time in production fighting the AI. Early Empire gives us a governor who will be Magnus to help us in the construction of the wonders. Someone lost a settler, we'll take him. Classical era is a dark age, but it's fine, that means the next one will be heroic. Settling on the amber, it's good to settle on luxuries, you can immediately sell them to the AI. Let's check out Ludwig's ability. If I start building the great bath and switch to a builder, it should give two culture. It does because it's next to the city center. That's huge, basically a free monument. Chop chop and we have the oracle. Oracle is huge for generating great people. It triples the generation in the city. Normally a theater square gives plus one great people point. With the oracle, it gets another plus two for a total of three. I would also really like pyramids. They're not crucial for the strategy, but they're nice to get if you can. Plus one charge on builders is great. A harvest, a chop and we get a pyramid. Less production spent on builders is more production spent on culture. We researched all the wonders we need, next in line are Fito squares and governors. Autocracy for the production boost towards wonders. Ethiopia, Vietnam, hello! Here have some blue jeans and books from famous German writers. What culture victory, you're crazy. <laughs> now take this vacation to the construction site of the Great Bath. So beautiful. We will discover the, the Galapagos. I had no idea it was there. Settle it, first thing we will build is a Fiat square. Fiat square is everywhere. Wait a second, there's no Gorgo. How did Lincoln get the capital? Second governor, Pingala. He's very important because of his curator promotion. Doubles tourism from great works. Oh, another natural wonder. Finding it like. gave us the last few points we needed for a heroic age. We built the Oracle because of its ability to generate great people, while the reason we built the Epidana and the great great library is not because of their ability, it's just because they can hold great works. Suleiman, you are the last civ we're looking for to start generating tourism over all other players. So how do you win a cultural victory in Civ 6? You need to attract more visiting tourists than any nation has domestic. Currently in this game, Ethiopia has the most domestic tourists, 24. To win, we need to attract 25 visiting tourists. 
You might be wondering, how are domestic tourists calculated? Well, it's very simple. It's all generated culture plus all inspirations divided by 100. For example, us Germany, we only have 9 domestic tourists, that means that we only generated 900 culture. And in the same time, America generated 2000 culture. Now that we know how domestic tourism is calculated, the shield against a culture victory, it's time to talk about visiting tourists. The sword, the way you win. Why do I call it the sword? Well, after you generated a visiting tourist, it leaves the country's domestic pool, costing them 100 cultural defense and goes into your visiting tourist pool. Now, how do we calculate? this again very simple the formula to generate one visiting tourist is number of players at the start of the game times 200 in our example we started the game with eight players eight times 200 is 1600 that's how much we need to generate one visiting tourist we can check if we do the math 6400 divided by 4 is 1600 by the way it doesn't go down if a player is eliminated Gorgo got eliminated but the threshold is still 1600 when we generate 1600 tourism on a player we get one visiting tourist from them we are making 230 tourism a turn to all players so every seven ish turns we get a visiting tourist from everyone and that's basically everything you need to know on how the cultural victory works now back to the school strategy in Gala, you're getting the curator promotion all that is left is to generate the great writers artists and musicians for that a classical republic is much better than autocracy beta square done amphitheater next here come the great writers fill the capital with great works from classical to medieval from dark to heroic castles give Ludwig the rest of his ability after researching castles all cultural adjacency also gives tourism we want to pair it with plus 100% culture from theater squares card unlocked at medieval fairs next up we want to research printing to double tourism from great works of writing we have a bunch of gold the AI has great works exchange buying great works from the AI is a great way to obtain more tourism beautiful 20 tourism from great works of writing and it's before we double it with printing. I moved Magnus to Cologne to start chopping out settlers. We want to get as many cities as possible. I plugged in the settler card for a plus 50% production when building settlers. Ancestral Hall is built in the city for another 50. Magnus is garrisoned, so another 50 when chopping for a total of plus 150% production when chopping out settlers. We've chopped out all the settlers we could from Cologne, therefore moving Magnus to Hamburg to chop out more. I haven't shown my district pens. The plan is to create circles and semicircles of districts to place wonders in the center. Don't forget to build theater squares, medieval fairs, research, change policies. Plug in plus 100% theater adjacency card for the culture and tourism boost. Important thing to note, the earliest things that boost tourism are open borders and trade routes. So it give 25%. If we combine them, we get plus 50. And that's huge. It's better than researching computers and environmentalism just because it's unlocked earlier. We already have open borders with everyone. All that is left is the trade route. But to build traders, we first have to research harbors. Civil service is great, allows us to ally up all the players we befriended. Also doubles our diplo favor per turn from 4 to 7, which in turn doubles the gold we get from selling our diplo favor. That reminds me, I should sell more of my stuff. Turn 93 and we are making 211 gold. Being liked is very profitable. Culture wise, we are working towards reformation. Here we go again, queue up the settlers, then chop, chop, chop them out. Go south settlers, settle the tundra wasteland. Harbors unlocked, to be able to trade with all the other players, we'll need to build 5 harbors. We're already running out of places for our great works, though we have reached 100 tourism a turn. Now every 16 turns we get 7 visiting tourists, we're also making 200 gold a turn, so every 3 turns we can buy an amphitheater to place more great works in. The biggest problem isn't the amphitheaters, it's the theater squares, they have already become super expensive. 200 to 9 production, that's more than Stonehenge, placing more wonders, founding more cities, chop down more woods to build more theater squares sell more stuff the ai loves luxuries moved magnus again become a monarchy for the plus 50 percent extra influence points if you can spare the production no reason to not build good wonders like the temple of artemis first trader go to washington boost our tourism and establish a trade post then later on we can trade with the inca and vietnam this is going to be the last city we settle place down a theater square place down a wonder continue building the theater square printing in two turns after that nighter to sell to the AI, then Hansa's finally cartography to find the faraway lands of the Ottomans. Placing more wonders, Forbidden Palace, Terror de Bellum, continue building the lighthouse, only two more turns, go 
culture. First, we'll grab more governor titles. Second, conservationism to build national parks. We're up to 200 tourism a turn. 13 visiting tourists. It's going great. Again, I've run out of places to put my great works of writing. But we've got printing. Cause look how much tourism we're getting. Plug in the plus 100% production for walls. Gonna build walls in every city. Because after you research conservationism, walls give tourism. We just don't have enough chops for all the districts I wanna build. But I have an idea. We're making a lot of money. So we're going to promote Reina with a constructor promotion, allowing us to buy districts. Aachen needs a Hansa, don't wanna waste time building it, buy it. Encampment, buy it. Whatever we need, we're gonna buy. A great admiral, great, now I don't have to build a boat. Admiral, go east and find the Ottomans. Golden Age, reform the coinage. Good job, Ericsson. Thanks to you, we can establish trade routes with the Ottomans. With the Ottomans, we have established trade routes with everyone. Combined with the open borders, we're getting plus 50% additional tourism with everyone. Conservationism unlocks naturalists. But before we buy them, we're gonna switch to a theocracy for the discount when purchasing with fate. Naturalists can make natural National parks. A national park gives around 20 tourism. More great works. And Bolshoi Fiete, the jewel of our empire. Plus 12 culture and tourism. It's just magnificent. I'm trading great works with Pachacuti to get a theme. To theme great works of art, they have to be of the same type but different artists. So Michelangelo here should do the trick with his painting of God and David. Beautiful. 18 tourism a turn. No, we're close to winning so the AI won't trade with us. Listen Lincoln, give me the statue. You can't stop the inevitable. We're making 500 tourism a turn. Winning in 35 turns. Doing more mid-maxing, building walls, placing down more construction sites. The culture. The beauty. We're culturally dominant over everyone except the Americans and the Incans. The Incans are the biggest problem. They just generate so much culture. But we will overcome it. More great artists. More paintings. More stadiums that give tourism. More optimization. Another reason to build walls. You can get plus two science per renaissance wall with military research. We have 13 cities. 26 science is a good boost. Cultural heritage to double tourism from great works of art and artifacts. I made another nice diamond for another the national park and another painting. With all that, we're up to 600 tourism a turn. Only need to overtake the Incas to win. We will do it with the help of archaeology. Dig up cool stuff. A mummified cat. An ancient javelin. Treasure map to a lost golden city. With all the Indiana joining with it, we finally win. Next turn. Okay, next next turn we win. There we go, a sub 200 victory and a cool strategy. What turn was it exactly? A turn 168. I'm happy with that, not bad at all. Hopefully now you know everything about the culture victory and can do this yourself. If you enjoyed, like, subscribe, thank you for watching, have an awesome day, see you next time, bye.